Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Sanchez Asidin. Today we are going to discuss about uh, what is commonly known as body mass index. Body mass index is an ancient treatment that was usually practiced before treatment was given out so that you are able to, 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 to prevent and manage your health without just treating yourself. Because when you keep your body mass index in a normal scale, it is hard for your body to find, to, to have diseases like hypertension, diabetes, eight types of cancer, cancers, osteoarthritis, gout, lumbar splendosis, that is the weakening of the lumbar bones, uh, obesity related illnesses including stroke uh, angina perectoris plus other degenerative diseases that come when your body has lost it is its initial weight so in this process we, we try to to maintain the body weight that that is healthy that your body is able to one detoxify improve circulation uh, remove toxic impurities in your body and also repair worn out cells because when your body is in its natural shape it's hard for the body to build up toxins it's hard for the body to to form carcinogenic cells it is hard for the pancreas the internal organs to slow down the body is able to detoxify remove impurities uh, repair worn out cells, circulate blood evenly, and whatever you eat is easily digested because you're proportionally healthy and normal. For example, take it as uh, an example if you have like 14 members in a family and you, you, you have, say, you buy a quarter, quarter kilo of rice, it is it is food for all of us when you when you have like 13 family members at home you ca they can eat but it's hard for them to get to get excited after eating they will still stay hungry they will feel weak after because what you've given them is not abundantly sufficient so in this if you put on an excess weight that initially was not part of you because of the lifestyle we live in, the medication we take, the food we eat, uh, the life that we lead, our bodies tend to put on, accumulate a lot of weight that tends to clog the arteries, that uh, slow down the supply of blood. So in this process, I want you, you who is watching, to try out one procedure. The first procedure is to know how you're going to check your body mass index. In this, you need a weighing uh, a tape measure. You need a weighing scale. You need to know your actual weight, your actual age. Especially with women, they don't usually say those right age. Then this is a fat monitor. What we are looking at is how can we measure your body mass index so that you know the normal weight that you should run in that should follow into because it tends to differ according to your height, weight, and age. So with, uh, with male, it, it should run between 18 to 25. Then uh, female from, from 18 to 27. So when you're below 18, you're underweight. It's not healthy. When you're above 27 in female, it is still unhealthy. And if you're above 25 in male, still unhealthy but right now we are having almost 70 or 80 percent of the population where people are above even 30 so it means that most of patients who come in have obesity related illness or they are treating symptoms because their bodies or their body have gone out of the normal weight that we are supposed to work with they are supposed to live with and we live a healthy setting. So I want us to initially start with this and we get back to 
our program of being healthy. We are starting with the weight. So he's 63.1 kilos. You can take the 63.1. Then we are going to do the height. He's uh, 163. This is his height. Uh, this is a fat monitor. We are, we are now punching in the height. It was 163. That is the height. Weight weight was 60, 62, 62. H, 23. So he's a male. Then he's going to hold here. This is how you do a BMI, body mass. You hold. This is a fat monitor. We've done the weight and this is a tape measure. So we are going to set, then start. So that's how it runs. Normal. It normal. He runs between 23.7. So he is normal. His body mass is normal. According to his age, weight, and height, he's normal. If he can maintain this, he can live a disease-free life. So if you're above 25, 30, 40, that's when you have to get back to, to this normal BMI and live a normal life. Thank you.